Hello! In our today's video we will unbox a 3-axis router engraver China CNC Zone 3040. It can be used to work with plexiglass, wood or plastic. This device is produced by China CNC Zone, a subsidiary of Scottle Technologies, famous for their infrared soldering station Echi and Scottle. Let's begin! After we have opened the box, the first thing that we can see is a piece of packing material, about 3 cm thick. All of the contents underneath are also put in packing material, to ensure the equipment arrives safely to its final destination. Here we have a data cable, a user manual, a very well packed software CD, A box with some additional accessories, we will take a closer look at them a bit later. And the engraver itself. Let's try to take out the engraver. Despite its size, the device is not that heavy, as it's made of aluminum alloy. Let's check what's inside the accessories box. We have a power cable and an additional data cable. In this small box, we have accessories for fixing a workpiece on the work table and also working instruments. Standard package contains four such instruments. A set of hex keys to assemble and configure the device and four additional limit switches are here as well. These look like the axis motors and a spindle motor. There are three axis motors in the content package for X, Y and Z directions and a spindle motor. There is a cooling ventilator on this side and a place to connect a working instrument on the other. This is the most interesting part of the device, the control box. Let's take a closer look at it. On the front panel there is a power button of the box, a spindle on-off switch, spindle speed control, and an emergency stop button. On the back panel there is a power cable input, a parallel port input to connect to a PC, a cooler, an input to connect a spindle, X, Y and Z axis inputs, and inputs for their limit switches. However, as you can see right here, there is also an A-axis input. This is because the control box, as well as the engraver, is universal. You can buy additional equipment for the fourth axis, install it on the engraver, connect it to the control box, and have a four-axis engraver. So, you have a possibility to either buy a four-axis engraver right away, or work with a three-axis one, then buy equipment for the fourth axis if necessary. Even the control box itself has a marking that it is a four-axis controller. Let's go back to the engraver. It's made of an aluminum alloy and is assembled very well. For the safety of transportation, the device is delivered with disconnected motors. Spindle motor is connected right here. Axis motors are connected here. Each axis has its own set of limit switches. So, the first coordinate, the second coordinate, and the third coordinate. This cable is used to connect everything to the control box. Every output is marked. X, Y, Z, spindle, and so on.
Underneath, there is a mechanism for movement along the axis. There are slots on the work table that serve two main functions. The first function is to fasten a workpiece on the work table with these bolts and brackets that come in the package. The second function is to install an optional force axis. We will now try to connect all the motors and prepare the engraver for work. In theory, this should be quite simple. Let's start. Connect the spindle motor first. Untighten the bolts with the hex key and install the motor. Make sure to tighten the bolts well. Now connect the spindle. Next, let's install the Z-axis motor. There is a special coupling here which we can use to connect the motor to the shaft of the engraver. So, the motor is installed and connected now. Motors for other axes are installed in the same way. We have installed the X, Y, Z and spindle motors. Now let's try to connect everything to the control box. Connection cables are very convenient and reliable. Let's connect the Y cable Now the spindle Then Z axis It's important to connect everything correctly Otherwise the device will not work Now let's connect the sensors. So Z-axis, then Y-axis, and lastly X-axis. Let's not forget about the power cable. And parallel port cable to connect to a computer. This is the LPT-LPT cable, but there is also an LPT-USB cable which comes with the package. So, 
we have installed and connected everything and the engraver is almost ready for work. However, before starting the device, it still needs to be calibrated. Software from this CD is used to make calibrations. It allows setting various parameters, such as axis movement speed and even spindle rotation acceleration. This has been an unboxing of 3-axis CNC router engraver China CNC Zone 3040. Its functionality can be expanded with installation of the optional force axis, which can be installed right here. Like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to our channel and watch more of our videos. See you soon!